<laughs> Whatever you want. Whatever's natural. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. Hey, I'm telling you, we're White Reaper and we're from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Sam, and to my right is Ryan from White Reaper and we're from Louisville, Kentucky. And what do you guys play? Who do you play for? I play guitar and sing. I play the bass. I play the keyboard. So, how's tour going so far? Tell us about the tour. It's been a long time. We've been almost out for a month exactly. We got a little over a week to go. It's going great. I think we we sold more tickets this time than we expected, which is always the goal. Yeah. And we have more friends out with us, so that's it's good. a party everywhere we go. That's good. We're having fun out yeah. here, and that's yeah. really just the name of the game. That's the most important thing. Am I right? Yes. How are you feeling about the album release? I know it was like highly anticipated, and it's fantastic. Like very good. Oh, thank so you so much. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I feel, I feel good about it. Yeah. It's like, uh, what was the process like like with that album? Like, was it tough for you guys with the getting it recorded and all of that, or was it pretty like streamlined? Recording it was actually really easy. It took like a year to write it. We made a bunch of demos in like 2018, and we did probably the least touring we've done since like 2015, maybe? Mm -hmm. Because we put a record out in 2015 and toured a bunch, and then we put another one out in 2017 and toured a bunch, and then in 2018 we kind of just like played a few tours, and mostly we're working on writing, and then we recorded it all in like two weeks. Mm. So it was pretty easy. That's pretty quick. <laughs> we knew the songs and it was like really easy. So the last record we didn't we did, we didn't know what we were doing. We were just writing in the studio and it took a very long time. So this yeah. time it was double the speed. What do you feel like the difference was between like recording the last record as opposed to this one? I think it was that like um, we just wrote the last record like all in the studio. We just mm -hmm. booked like a month in the studio, really without having any demos, and we just had like some voice memos of like little riffs here and there. Mm -hmm. And we just like went in there and we're like, I guess we're gonna do this. And I feel like that's the best way to do it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the way it turned out. It was super stressful that whole time. Mm -hmm. And it felt like this time was a lot easier. Like, you know, we booked 30 days again, but we only needed 15, so. Mm -hmm. We were all surprised at how quickly it went by. Yeah, two weeks is insane. And I feel like, like, what was the sound that you were going for? Because I know a lot of, um, like, my brother's in a rock band, he does that whole thing, and he, like, they want it to be, you want to, every instrument to pop out, and you want everyone to have their moment in the song that they need to have their moment in, but at the same time, you just want it to have the live sound that, like, like, you want to bring out that authentic sound, so, I don't know, how did you achieve that? Did you just, like, just, like, I don't know, what was the process like that? We in did studio? most of the songs live, really, is we would play, we would just, like, do it by song, we would play each song through at least like seven or eight times okay. and mostly more than that there were a few songs that it happened like pretty quick mm -hmm. and we we're like oh we got it probably and we did very few dubs like, aside from vocals and things like that right. but a lot of the vocals were things we took from the live tapes oh, okay. Interesting. so i think that's why it was so quick it was just like we just played the songs and i think that was something that jay who produced it was very adamant about it sounding like a live band. Yeah. And there were a lot of things that we wanted to tweak and redo. And he was like, no, it sounds good, it sounds good. And I think that was the biggest lesson we learned this last time was that sometimes it, it sounds good, even with like a little mess up here and there. 100%, yeah. Instead like of just like, sit with it. Yeah, yeah, instead of making everything like, awkwardly perfect, I guess. Exactly, yeah, because then it starts to sound like a little synthetic, yeah. like, you don't want that. So we just really went in there and... Did your thing? Yeah. What is your favorite track, like, each of you? Do you have, like, does everyone love the same one track, or is it all of them? I think or? mine is Saturday. Okay. Why? Just because, yeah, I feel like it's, uh, it's like, you can dance to, you can dance to. It's a bop. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> is that also your favorite to play? Uh, we haven't played it, we haven't really popped it out live yet, but it's my favorite to listen to, for mm -hmm. sure, on the new record. That or Hard Luck. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what about you? I like you deserve love. Oh. The final track. <laughs> That's a sweet one. Well, how did you decide on the the album name? Sam just said it at a bar once. And we yeah. were like, we should name it that. I had, I had like a list of ten. I've just thought of different shit every day, like possible names, and I just put them on my phone just in case. Yeah. If they turned out, and then. The ones that I wrote next to that one were all pretty stupid and funny, and then that <laughs> one was just kind of like sincere. And yeah. Like, oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. How is the writing process? Is it usually like super collaborative? All of you sit down, like you said, in studio and write together, or is it like one person writes one song? Is it one person who usually writes all the music? I did all the demos for this new record, but like we said on the last one, like we all just went in there and just did it. Is that hard to like? talk about lyrics and like composition together you think it like makes it sound more cohesive it can be hard but i also think it's like really important because the one thing i liked about the last record is that like everybody was there for every step of the way and what we would do on world's best american band which was the record before this one is we would like we would jam out and then we would record this like little arrangement and then we would all go into the control room and listen to it together and be like, I think it's too long here, or, like this part goes on too long, and like we don't really need this, and we should do more of this. And there was like an agreement on that. I feel like the biggest thing That's uh, crazy that we did that. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like thinking bit. back on that, that is crazy. Yeah. But I think when you write a song, there's a lot of fat to be trimmed, and you don't really realize it. Yeah. And then when you sit in a room, and you all listen to it together, you're like, this doesn't need to be this long, because, I don't know, you just kind of like, especially when you write songs by just like being in a room, and just trying to write as a band, you get these parts that, you know, are long. Mm -hmm. And even when I was just doing the demos, at home, I would sit down with Ryan and be like, does it need to be this long? Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of it is is trimming the fat and like cutting things out of it because a lot of the like skeleton bones of songs were like four minutes and even sometimes five minutes mm -hmm. and we were like, this doesn't need to be that long. Yeah. Like no one's gonna listen to it. Yeah, a lot five of, minute long. A <laughs> lot of the producer's song. job too is to be like, take this part out. Yeah, just yeah, like exactly. literally just being like, you don't need, you don't need to do yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> That's understandable though, because I mean, a big part of what you guys do is like live performances are probably just as important as like a recorded track. So I mean, I feel like that can happen very easily. Um, yeah. So, to want to like ride it out, and just like have your own like have a solo or have their have their own like a song. So that makes sense. Have you guys had like had any really weird moments on tour? Or, like any like crazy stuff happen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On on this one? Not really on this tour. This one's been just a lot of waking up early and and getting to where we need to go. Yeah. There hasn't been all too many shenanigans. But in the past, yes. Do you want yeah. to share a story? <laughs> like, I'm trying to think because there's so many like there's so many ones that are buried in my memory. But and just like, like long winded. There's but, sure. There's like you know, one that stands out that's that scared the shit out of us and it's like it's like you I don't know like we could have seriously man tried to like chase us off the road one time oh, no. like we, we we definitely got in a highway chase but that was like a long time that, was a long, that, was that like, like doesn't even happened. count he just this crazy man got was, in his car and started following us and like swerved he tried he was about to hit us multiple times where were you he was doing the thing you know like oh, the little oh, rascals oh, race okay. thing where he's like. Yeah, and then we stopped, we were like, oh, he's just trying to pass us. And then he, we pulled into his parking lot, and he pulls right next to us, and it was like, That's and then we, and then he follows us onto the highway, he gets in front of us, slows down like 30 miles per hour in front of us on the highway. This this crazy man was just oh, trying geez. to fuck with us. It was yeah. very strange. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I have been in places like that. It was in Tacoma. It was a long time ago. Yeah. I, hope he, I hope he's okay. <laughs> I, don't hope he's okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what Sorry. his problem was. <laughs> Chicago was has yeah like, sorry I guess there's been some crazy stuff that's happened nice in try Chicago. <laughs> I, was, I was going for three in a row sorry um we're watching Jeffrey no like do you guys have anything else to add or anything else you want to say you have given us a lot so I appreciate it uh thank you warm music thank you Electra yeah. Yeah. treat people with kindness love it yeah
I have one question. Yeah. What's the best food you've eaten on tour? Yeah. <laughs> and where? Oh my gosh. What's that place in New Mexico that had the really good salsa? Mm. Salsa always makes no food. There's this stuff in England. It's just I'm sure they have this cheese here, but it's like cheese that you like fry and it like doesn't melt. It's like you dip down. Mm. And they serve it with honey. Awesome. It's crazy. I feel like I'm definitely that. It's a thing.